So now, in this video, we're going to make a passive buzzer buzz right here. It's not going to be an annoying buzz. It's going to be a, a slower, like, rattling buzz. Um, so passive buzzer, no epoxy on the back right there. Active buzzer, you just apply a voltage. It makes a high pitch uh, squeal noise. Uh, passive buzzer, you have more control. And uh, you have to keep uh, changing the voltage across it right there to keep getting it clicking or if you go fast enough buzzing. Um, it will keep passing current, though once uh, it makes that click. So we just got a capacitor to stop that current from flowing and then also to help get that current flow the other way to uh, get uh, another click right there instead of just applying and uh, removing uh, voltage alone. And um, so I should probably uh, add that capacitor so I don't accidentally go into a wrong spot and wonder why I don't have any noise. So plug it in uh, over there and uh, yep it's in that same spot right there so we'll plug that in and uh, this capacitor is a little bit in the way we'll get it out of the way right there so we have that right there now we need to get an a stable with the 555 timer to get the buzzing the switch is making it so it is actually normally off so we will add a pull down resistor right there to pin number four the reset pin so what that does is when you have a low enough voltage to pin number four it uh, resets it holds the output low and uh, we got uh, ground over there there'll be no buzzing so it'll just hold the output low uh, reset pin is the most powerful input right there and then the switch when i close the switch it'll connect to the positive supply right there that'll overpower the uh, resistor right there so we definitely need a resistor not just directly to ground and um, then uh, with the high enough uh, voltage, you know, it has to be really close to zero volts in order to be off. Um, any voltage above that, then it lets the rest of the 555 timer do what it wants to do. And I'm going to uh, take, uh, I think, this uh, capacitor right there. And this uh, switch, I kind of like briefly lose connection every uh, now and then, sometimes really quickly. So this capacitor will uh, keep that positive charge just for a little bit of time and uh, prevent, uh, you know, switch bounce, basically. Um, when Well, switch bounce is when you're closing it and you briefly lose connection. I can kind of uh, lose connection a little bit while I'm even holding it, sometimes really briefly. Um, I really have to lose light connection in order for us to lose our signal. Now, we're going to go with the timing. You need a charging and discharging capacitor. Um, changing voltage using a uh, charging and discharging capacitor to uh, get the timing. The speed is set by the value of capacitor and the uh, charge and discharge. In this case, we've got two charge, one discharge resistor. You can use a diode to go around uh, that 10K resistor while well, it's charging if you want, but I didn't add that there. So um, we're going to go with 0 0.47 microfarad right there. And these are my highest value uh, capacitors where they are not uh, polarized. 0.47 and um, so yeah we got that there and then for the timing we're gonna take uh, this 10k resistor it's backwards for the color code but uh, that's okay I always remember that um, if you're trying to read color codes when you're watching videos or looking at pictures maybe the resistors in backwards we got the tolerance band to the right one one for one percent when yeah that pods this play and um, but the other side is brown as well so we got to look at where the uh, multiplier is red right there. Now, we got this other 10K resistor. Again, we're gonna charge through 10, uh, two resistors, and um, so it's gonna take twice as long to discharge. That's when the output is high, versus uh, when it is discharging. That is when the output is low. Twice as long to charge as discharge. I think I said that right. So, we will uh, come back. And now, we're gonna connect the uh, capacitor to the output, pin number three right there kind of held off because uh, um, this will kind of block what uh, else we got going on a little bit right there has a the potential so yeah pin number three third one down output and now we go to the capacitor right there which uh, is called a coupling capacitor it's allowing signals to make it to the buzzer without letting uh, current be provided steadily and um, so I still had the alligator clips attached but the power supply is off. Even when I turn it on, we might hear like a click or something. But um, for the most part, we shouldn't hear anything. Should not be buzzing right now. And I purposely used uh, enough capacitance and uh, stuff right there. You may have heard it just now. 
just to get a little buzz like that. And um, so that was uh, what I was going for. We could go a, a bit slower with the larger value capacitor or maybe even uh, larger value resistors or both and uh, we would get clicks or we could go in lower value. We will do that right now with, so that was 0.47 microfarad. This is 0 0.01 microfarad. So um, this other capacitor is about 50 times as high the value. So right now this should uh, go high and low about 50 times as much and we got uh, connection issues. So there'll be a buzz. Hopefully you can hear that. Um, it's not uh, terribly loud. I'll, I'll get the camera closer. But yeah, it's that easy to change the uh, tone and the buzz. Right there. So um, hopefully you could hear that. But in any case, uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.